So bike fishing really isn't something new. It's basically just combining fly fishing with biking. What I love about it is that it's not too serious. For me, you know, the bike is a great tool for exploration and uh, more and more the fly rod is a great tool for exploration, for going down gravel roads and uh, you know, discovering new uh, small unknown rivers. And it just makes sense to kind of combine both. I used to think that fly fishing was about the dumbest thing ever. Um, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And then eventually curiosity uh, got the better of me. And uh, after many years of sitting on the sidelines and watching, I decided to give it a try. And I fully expected to hate everything about it. And I think I did that first day that we went out. Um, and then I caught a fish and that changed everything. <laughs> what I realized um, when I did finally step into the river is that the experience of Standing in a river and fishing is vastly different from sitting on a bank and watching um, because you are act actively participating. I discovered it during our long-term bike tour. We're always camping by lakes, by rivers, by streams. And when we were at these places, I, you know, I started to get really curious about what was in the water and saw fishermen and thought to myself, wow, that'd be a super cool thing to combine this whole like fishing and biking. So now when we go out on bike trips, we're always looking for you know, destinations with great biking and great fishing. Today we are going bike fishing on the Deschutes River Trail. This is really great rail trail conversion that runs right along the Deschutes River from the confluence with the Columbia. So it's this nice uh, wide gravel rocky kind of path uh, with lots of dispersed camping down by the river. Uh, this is a great location because it's a place where everyone brings their bikepacking gear uh, for a shakedown ride. So super accessible. It just happens to be by one of Oregon's top uh, fishing rivers. So this truly is one of our favorite spots in Oregon. Uh, it's just beautiful, the landscape is big, it's wide open, and just mega bonus that there's awesome fishing to be had here on the Deschutes. And it's like right there. I think we might have underestimated or overestimated how much uh, daylight we have. So we're gonna be racing the sun a little bit, hopefully getting the tent up before too dark. Get up early in the morning, do some fishing, and pedal out. So this part of the trail is probably my favorite. It's just stunning with these tall cliff faces right here. Makes you feel small in a, in a good way. <laughs> River, trees, nobody else. <laughs> you guys a tip on their favorite new cooking method while bikepacking. Called buying burritos ahead of time. <laughs> also, this burrito is like the size of my forearm. It's actually a new hashtag, uh, burrito packing, believe it or not. Burritos in hand, some water, flask of bourbon. Pretty good evening. <laughs> So we had our bourbon and burritos and literally feet away from shore were a bunch of fish just rising. <laughs> just there, taunting us. So hopefully uh, they'll still be there in the morning. I think we're going to call it a night and uh, get up early and see if we can't catch some fish.
Well, the sun is definitely up now. Coffee is very yummy. Cheers. I think the thing to do would be to gulp this down. Maybe fish the camp water before it gets too bright out. The fish that we saw rising last night are not home this morning. We might have to find new fish. been taking turns on this fish that's tucked up right by the bank. We'll see if we can not actually get them uh, on the line. Oh! Oh! You did! It was like, what, a foot from my feet. <laughs> and he came up twice, um, which was uh, kind of impressive. Okay, it wasn't the monster one that we saw earlier, but it's a fish. <laughs> That's a pretty good size one. Yeah, casting upstream, dry fly, place I cast like I laid down maybe 30 casts, and he finally took one. So <laughs> I think we've uh, caught all the fish that we're gonna catch from this spot. Laura hooked into that big one by the bank a couple times. <laughs> yep. I'm good at finding fish. Russ is good at actually catching them. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna pack up camp and uh, pedal on, maybe fish some more, see if we can't find another spot. bike fishing trip is so awesome especially on a river like the Deschutes is that it does get so brutally hot in the middle of the day and when you're going overnight then that means you can fish in the evening and in the morning when it's cool and the fish are actually active. We're here at a uh, old box car that we actually passed last night but didn't have time to stop for but it's uh it's pretty cool kind of evidence of the railroad history that went on here in the past good place to stop and take a break take a photo try not to get bit by a rattlesnake So we've gone bike fishing uh, all over Oregon, in Montana, in Idaho, and we've also gone abroad to New Zealand, uh, catching huge brown trout and uh, big rainbows. Bike fishing has caught on because biking and you know fly fishing are just a natural fit. You know, both these activities take you out to beautiful places, so to combine them, to find awesome roads and to find awesome rivers where there's uh, you know fish to catch. It's just a, a fun experience. If you like biking, if you like outdoors stuff, you want to go spend a, a chunk of time out in a beautiful place on a beautiful river, um, why not give it a go? It can be uh, phenomenally complicated, um, but it can also be really simple. And, and it's one of those things that you can spend a lifetime learning, and it's kind of neat to um, get into something where you, you know you may never be good at it, but you just sort of enjoy the process and you enjoy where it takes you. You know, even if you end up never finding a great place to fish, you've had a, you've been out on a great ride. Let's go.